Okay, good morning and welcome to Mishnah Yomi. Today we're learning Sechus Trumos, Perek Tet, Mishnah is based in Gimel. Mishnah Beis says, V'chayev es baleket ovashich ovapeh. Here we're talking about someone who planted Truma. He took Truma, seeds of Chitim or Sorim that were separated as Truma, and he replanted them. So we learned yesterday that Gedulei Truma is Truma, even by Davar Shazar Kala, right, where the seed gets completely consumed in the ground, something else comes out. Gedulei Truma is Truma. We're going to investigate more and get a mission to what extent Gedulei Truma is Truma. But whatever grows is Chayev is Beleked with Shechel of Apeya, right? There's no tour of Matnos Aniyam. Matnos Aniyam, when you're gathering all this Gedulei Truma, I'm planting an entire field with Truma seeds. And you have all this delayed truma, and the person's gathering it in, so whatever falls down, or whatever he forgets, or the corner of the field, you have to leave a corner of the field for the Aniyam. Ani Yisrael, Ani Kohanim, Malachtim. Not only the Ani Kohanim, it's truma are allowed to take, also Ani Yisrael are to take. Ani Yisrael, right, they can't eat it, because Gulej, it's truma. Mokhan and Shalahem, the Kohanim, it's made truma. By Adam Shalahem, they can sell it for the lower price. Truma commands a lower price, because not everyone could eat it, to the Kohanim. And they get to keep the money themselves. The retirement home mayor, lo, you look to LS, LA, Ani, Kohan, and Mazak Zera, only Ani, Kohan should be allowed to collect the manos. And Yem Shemel Yishku, we didn't live to him. If he's Shrel collects it, maybe while he's gathering, he might take a piece of weed and put it in his mouth. Amar la Rabbi Kiva, Imkain, lo, you could do El Tahorim. If you're so Mahmir, so then you should say only Kohanim that are Tahorim. Because you're going to Tommy, you can't eat Shrum, you might put it into your mouth. So therefore, we don't make his air at all, according to Rabbi Kiva. And Allah is even Ani, Yishrel could gather it. Mishnah Gimel, the Chayavas of Maestros. Not only the Chayev and Manos Ani, it's also Chayev and Maestros, which is Maeser Risho. The Rav says even Truma, you Chayev take of Truma again, over Maeser Ani, and Maeser Ani, Maeser Risho, and Maeser Shani during the first, second, fourth, and fifth years of Shemitah, and Maeser Ani during the third and sixth years of Shemitah. And Yisrael, and Yikohanim, Notlim. Again, they could both take him. And Yisrael, Mokhan, and Shalhem, the Kohanim, is made Truma. Like the previous mission says, they can sell it. Right, as truma money too, and and get to keep the money. Adam shalahem, and they keep the money. Achovet meshuba. Right, let's say you have a field of this kedulei truma. So there's a problem because a lot of people, you know, take their animals and graze it in certain fields. So it's best achovet meshuba. Someone who knocks down the plants and detaches them from the ground, and makes the seeds unavailable for easy fodder for the animals. Uh, it's good because only Kohanim, we know that Ani shall out in the fields and they might come bring their animals and we know that only the animal of a Kohen could eat from the Truma, or Gedule Truma, the animals of Israel cannot. Vadash Ketzad Yaseh. Someone who's, you know, threshing in the field, he's bringing his animals into the field and no one actually dislodged uh, the wheat kernels from their place, so there's a problem. They might, the Behemoth of Israel might eat it. What do you do to avoid? The Tolak Kfifos Bitsavari Behemoth and Osan Lazokam Osa Amin. Let's say it's a wheat field. So you take some seeds of wheat and you put a basket of chulin wheat in their basket. You don't have to put a, a, a muzzle on the animal, but it's not eating truma because it can eat whatever in their basket. Much easier to eat what's in the basket around their neck. And it's the same thing. They're not going to have a temptation. They give also a min. If it's a wheat field, you put chit in their basket. They're not going to have a temptation to eat it because they have an easier way of eating it in their basket. That's the conclusion of today's share. Stay tuned for Ian and Mishnah. We'll discuss more exactly what can do the Shroma is. The Rice and the Rabbanon. See you there.